Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Element Development and welcome to our weekly tutorial. And this week I'll be showing you how to switch views when images collide. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have two images, the top one is simply draggable and you can move it around where you like, but as soon as it collides with the bottom one, it switches to a new view and says the images have touched and it enables you to go back and repeat the process again. Now you don't have to switch views when images collide, you can do any action from playing sound or video or anything like that. But I'll be showing you this as a possibility for when you do it. So already in Xcode I have my project set up. It's a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Image Collision just for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, let's see. The first thing we want to do is add a IB outlet for our two images. So to do that, we go into our image collision view controller dot H, and just after the first curly bracket here, we hit enter a few times. Just give it enough room so it's easy to see. And if we zoom in there, we start by typing IB outlet space UI image view. So all right, the button here space asterisk and I'm simply going to name the images image 1 and image 2. So image 1 and that of a semicolon and we can copy and paste it to save a little bit of time and then change that one to image 2. So now after we've done that just after the curly bracket at the bottom here we simply now to need to do app property non atomic and retain the two images. So to do that we do at property space bracket non-atomic comma space retain bracket and now we need to type in UI image view and then the name of our image view so we can just copy and paste it from the top so it simply look like the first line will and then if we copy the whole thing and then paste it again so we can do for our second one and then after that we need to do a void statement for when the images do collide so we do dash bracket void bracket and I'll simply name the void simply collision if I spell it right that's it and then finish that up with a semicolon and then save that and we can zoom out. I'll explain the void collision more as we get into the coding. So then once we've done that, we need to go into our view controller.m where we start with our coding. The first thing we need to do is synthesize our two images as we've retained them. So just after the implementation, we say to enter a few times, so we've got enough room for you all to see. And then we need to do the at symbol, synthesize, and in the property we need to type in the name of our images. So today we do image one. Now some people would simply end up with a semicolon and write out the synthesize again for image two. But to save a little time, you can do a comma, space, and then type in image two, then end up with a semicolon. It's a quicker way to synthesize outlets like that. And then just to that, we hit enter a few more times. Now we need to make our image one draggable. So to do that, we do dash bracket void bracket and we're going to be using the touches moved function which I showed you before in a previous video where we made a button draggable but this time it's going to be an image so we do touches and we want moved and then after that statement said being set out we do curly bracket at the end and then press enter and then now we need to type in UI touch space asterisk and I'll name the touch simply my touch easy to understand as it's going to be my touch that will be moving the image space equals space bracket bracket event all touches and then a bracket to close that one section up and space any object and to close the other bracket up let's do another bracket and at the end of that do a semicolon and hit enter 
And now the image that we want to move is image one. So we type in image one dot center space equals space bracket. And then the name of our UI touch, which we named it my touch space location in view. And in the highlighted section, we need to do self dot view and then a bracket and a semicolon. And after that, hit enter just two times. So we've got another little bit of room and we do bracket self. And this is where we add in our void collisions just to enable them to work together basically. So we type in collision bracket semicolon to finish up all of that code. And then just after the curly bracket at the end of that code, we need to now do our void collision statement. So to do that, we do dash bracket void bracket. And we named it simply collision space curly bracket enter a few times. Now we need to do an if statement for when the images do collide and then what will happen, which will obviously switch to a new view. So the first thing we need to do is simply add in our new view. So at the top of our title here, simply right click or control click, and then go down to new file. Make sure it's a UI view controller subclass. And make sure it's still a subclass as a UI view controller. And I'll simply name it the new view, as it's easy to understand. Okay, so once that's all in, go back to our view controller.m and just under the import here, we do I'll just zoom in for you again. We do a hashtag import and then our new view dot h and then save that. And then we can go back down to our void collision here where we type in our if statement. So in the condition here between the two brackets, we need to type in cg rect intersects rect as that's a function of colliding images or any other object. In the first highlighted section here, we need to do our first image, which is image one dot frame. And in our second highlighted section here, we need to do image two dot frame. And once it's done that there, we can go click on the statement. So what you're basically saying is, if these two image frames touch each other, then in the statement is what's going to happen, which we're going to switch views, so we do the name of our new view, which is obviously new view. And asterisk second. I'm simply now typing out the coding for when you basically switch views anyway. So some of you may already know this. Space equals space bracket bracket new view. A lock. We do a bracket to close that section code. Then in it with nib name. In the first highlight section, we do nil. And in the bundle highlight section here, we do nil again. And then a bracket and a semicolon. I won't be doing any, any fancy transitions or anything like that. It's going to be a basic, simple switch in view. So you could expand on this one yourself by adding some pretty nice view transitions. So anyway, we do bracket self present module view controller. And in the highlight section here, we do the name of our view which is going to be second there in the animated we do yes bracket semicolon and we can save that I'll just close that gap there okay then so now once we've done that we zoom out now I need to go into our interface builder and our two images and if you haven't noticed already on this desktop here I have my image here of our good old friend the geek lemon just simply drag your image in to your project. I'll only use in one image, but you can use two images or however many images you want. So once you've done that, we can save that. That's all the coding that's needed in our view controller back M. So if you want to save that now, catch up on any of that code. But I'm going to go straight into our view controller by XIB. Let's bring up all our objects here. And I'll need two image views. So if I just drag in one, it's gone full scale, but I don't mind. I'm going to roughly guess the size here. I'm going to type image and we type in the name of our image, which is lemon.png. Yep, which I thought it would be. A bit funny out of scale. 
So I'm not too sure on the proportion, so I'm just going to guess. And I'm going to need two of those. And I'll simply put them at the top and at the bottom. So then if we click on our files owner, where we can link up our two images, then drag image one, which is the image which will be draggable, then image two to the bottom one. So when them two collide, we'll switch views to our new view. So once it's switched to our new view, it can't really do anything because the image will be or the view will be blank. So if you go to our new view .h and we'll add in a button to be able to switch back and repeat the process again, just like I showed you in the simulator. So if you go to our new view .h again, sorry, and just after the last curly bracket, we're going to add in a IB action button. So we do dash bracket IB action bracket and I'll simply name it go back very simple New colon bracket ID sender and that array semicolon and save that and if you just go into our view controller.hem and if you want to save a little bit of time you can copy the code to switch the view this saves a little bit of time and I can get the tutorial moving a bit quicker so now in our new view.m we need to import our first well, our original view, which is image collision view controller dot h. So type in image there we go. Image collision view controller dot h. And then just after the implementation, I'll make a little bit of room so it's easy to see. So do dash bracket IB action bracket. And we name the button simply go back. So the ID sender. Space curly bracket, hit enter a few times, and now I'll paste in our code. And all we need to do now is copy and paste the image collision view controller name here with our new view, so it switches to the right view and doesn't stay on the one there. So then once that's done, we can go into our new view.xib. Now zoom out now. So just like in the simulator, I had a label which simply said images touched so we get that center and then we had a button that simply said go back okay so once we've done that go into our files owner now we can link up our button which will enable us to go back and repeat the process which then we simply do a touch down where it's very simple there's no fancy things with this button so then once all that's done, we can go straight to build and run. There should be no errors or any problems as the coding was simply pretty straightforward as in all of my tutorials. So now as we wait for this to build, I can simply explain a little bit more of this little tutorial here. You can create it into a simple game where you have to avoid certain images to get to a certain image to make them collide and if you touch the wrong image, you can switch to a new view and it can say game over. And you can change the go back button to like reset and go back and repeat the game again. You can create various levels. So you can create into quite a fun game to play and really go have some fun with it. So a great little feature of any application. Okay, and so now our application's loaded. We have our two images and the one at the top is simply draggable like that. You can move it around. And as soon as it hits the bottom one, switch to our new view where we have our label which says image is touched and our go back button and we can repeat it again so like I said before you can turn this into a quite a fun game of where you're having to avoid certain stuff to get to the right one where it enables you to go to a new view which will be our like a second level or you can make a collision and say whoops game over and then start again so it's quite a fun thing to do and for you to play around with and I hope it's given you quite a good idea to create a game. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback and follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. 
make sure you go check them out. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.